Well, here's a look at Sox Park right here, now called, of course, Guaranteed Rate Field. Even though the home opener is 43 days away, one Chicago man is ready today. He's Nevest Coleman. He spent 23 years behind bars for a rape and murder he didn't commit. And as CBS 2's Vince Girasoli reports, the Chicago White Sox are helping him get his old life back. Since stepping away from decades of wrongful imprisonment in November and into the embrace of his loved ones, Nevis Coleman's family has been in awe of his optimism. If I'm miserable, that means everybody else around me be miserable. So if I'm happy, everybody else happy. So I don't have time to be miserable, you know. Coleman has another reason to smile. He worked for years on the White Sox ground crew. His childhood priest reached out to the team, and the Sox are now giving him his old job back. I ain't had to depend on nobody no more. I can uh, help myself now. In a statement, the team says we're grateful justice has been carried out for Nevist. We're thrilled that we have the opportunity to welcome him back into the White Sox family. Every time it feels the rain, I see him run across the field. I said, there he is, Harry and Jerry. On TV, Coleman often saw old colleagues pulling the rain delay tarp across the field. He bumped into them when accepting his job yesterday, and it set him at ease. I'm ready to go back. <laughs> In those 23 years, his family has grown, and a lot has changed. What do you think of cell phones? Rough. I'm still <laughs> trying to work them. <laughs> but just like in baseball, Coleman has proved sometimes your win comes later in the game. I got three little beautiful granddaughters, my brothers, my sisters, bro uh, cousins, my son and my daughter. You know, get to knowing them is great. Starting all over again. And getting to know him was great today, too. Coleman has already filed a federal civil lawsuit for his wrongful conviction. He will be in court again on March 2nd as he petitions the state of Illinois to officially declare him innocent. He'll be reporting to work when the Sox play ball on March 26th. You know, i got to tell you, he says when you're an innocent man in prison, you think about what would your life be if you were free again? He said he always imagined working again for the White Sox. That's amazing wow. because a lot of these guys that, that are being freed, you don't hear about them going back. To, it's hard to get jobs going back to their old job. Yeah. No less. He couldn't have been more positive, not only about that, but about his family. They meant the world to him, and that he could actually be able to help take care of himself, not rely on them, meant so much to him as well. So inspiring. Thank you, Vince.